Hey, what's going on guys? J Jamal TBHD. We out here with the Huawei Mate 20X. And alongside it, we've got the BTOP G1, also known as the controller ting for the Huawei Mate 20 series of phones. So um we're we'll gonna do a little real review and see what's really good with it. Um yeah, let's go. Funny, no on a the I mean what they call it? One of them special kind of chargers. Um, and then this is the controller itself. And off right. Oh, okay. So it won't turn unless that goes up. And the L2 button and the L. Whoa. And you got the. What is down here? You got the USB C connect. Oh, I forgot to mention, guys. Here's the instructions. A lot of people were saying, um, are they in Chinese? But uh, these are in English. Got it from Amazon UK. These are in English, you know. It's all calm, you got you can read all them things there. Dunno the dunno on the back. What have we got? Even more English, fam. All the English you could possibly want apart from some stuff here. <laughs> but yeah, all, most of the instructions are there for you, fam. So we're all good to go. Alright, let's get connected. Uh, a lot of people are also wondering, does this work if you've already got a case on the phone? Maybe with the mate. 20 pro or the mate 20 normal but with the mate 20x that thing is too fat so <laughs> no case can be on this phone if it's going to go into this controller so i'm going to pop that out jeez don't know i don't know um i'm going to plug that in like so and um yeah that's a nice fit that is a nice fit there you go that's what it looks like from the back so it looks like from the side, let me just give you all the angles here. Don't know why we're not in focus, but it's okay. It's not really okay, but there you go. Um, here's some more angles here. Mm, get those angles though. Yeah, this, this feels calm. Okay, so um, how do I get this connected now? Analog stick is just flashing. It does leave enough space for, um, and space for all the buttons as well, which is kind of, there's not really any holes or any grooves in there. So the speak, does it even say which way you have to put it on? I don't think it does. BTP G1 found, yeah, connect to that. Alright guys, so I thought I would try Tesla Grad first, um, just to see how it runs basically, and um, guys, that's wild, look at that. Can you even, it's analog, so can I creep? There's no creeping function in the game. Wow, so I can just keep this hand here, keep that hand up there. Wild. Oh. Wild. Guys, Tesla Grad is a dope game, by the way. Okay. Wild game, fam. Okay. Yeah, this is lit. Oh, uh oh, okay, yeah, I don't know about this puzzle, okay, uh, let's try a different game, all right, so we've got the thing connected to the phone, oops, um, what has it done now, it's just opened up the app assist in, it's like a full, it's opened it up in the full screen mode. So what I want to do is get out of this, and what, what what's going on now? Okay, so yeah, app assist. Uh, let's go up the top here to this controller button. Uh, oops. Let's get that in focus. And what does it say here? Firmware update. I don't understand why I'm finding it so hard to focus. There we go. Okay, firmware update. No details, but let's update some of that. There we go. Tap update now to do something over there. Okay, and it will up. Connection interrupted. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I get it. The connection interrupted because I pressed one of the buttons on the controller. So, yeah, don't press any of the buttons. Don't even move the analog stick. Um, but, yeah, this seems to be going quite fast. So, I'm going to just let it do what it needs to do. Done know the done know. And done. Oh, maybe not. Do you know what? I never expected this to work, but oh wait, why am I dying? 
What has happened? I thought I was on the spawn island. I can die on the spawn island? Guys, it's just, it just works. It's wild. I never expected it to work on Fortnite as well, but yeah. Oops. I'll go back. Oh, it's a bit weird. Oh, I, that's, that bit is off limits, that's why. Thought it wasn't working then. Wow. But it's just that the controller is only on one side of the phone though, so it's a bit, I need my, yeah, need some buttons up here or something. Got L2 on, L2 on that there. What should I put L1 as? L1 can be, can't possibly be aiming. Can I be aiming? Could shoot with L1. What can I use these for? So I'll press this blue, this Bluetooth button here. Oops. So next up we're going to try this game called, um, what's it called? Return to Planet X. So what I'm going to do is press the Bluetooth button at the bottom here. And that will bring up the thing to start mapping the buttons. So we're going to put the left analog stick in the corner here. Um, we're going to put, wait, hold on. Let me just do that so I can see where all the menu UI is. And we'll click, oh my god. Oh yeah, we've done it right. Okay, so let's put left trigger can be shoot. Um, left bumper, let's put up as flashlight. Oops. Drag that over to the flashlight side. Um, what is that? Run. What's going to be run? I don't know what I need to do for run. What's that? Crouch? Uh, crouch can be down, I guess. Reload can be right. And run can't be that, so maybe I'll put, I'll do L1 instead. There we go, let's confirm that. And yeah, we're good to go. Okay. So let's click that. Let's go in here. Open those as well. Yep, very lovely. Um, let's choose this gun here. Flashlight on with the up button. Flashlight off, flashlight on, flashlight off. Yeah, this is wild. It's a shame they don't make one for the right hand side of the phone. Uh oh. Something weird keeps happening, and it's that hey, get away from me. Yeah, something weird keeps happening. When I press shoot, it's making my camera look up. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe we've got to change something with the control scheme there. But yeah, no, it looks like it's working fine. Apart from the fact that it's making me look up every time I shoot. Can you see it? It's making me... It should just be shooting. I don't know. It doesn't make no sense to me. Maybe I'll put the shoot over to this side or something. That should work. Oh, that's the kickback on the gun. Oh, it's the kickback on the gun that was making it happen. Oops, I forgot I can use this. <laughs> it's mad. I mean, this, this side of the screen is still good for touching, so yeah, I can do whatever, I guess. Yeah. Alright, it feels alright. Can, can, can these guys just make one for this side of the screen as well? Can I not reload?
Uh oh. Is it coming here? I'm not intro. I'm not involved. So yeah, guys, I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. It's got the nice bit of texture at the back for the grip. It's got that nice, you know, it keeps, well, it doesn't get warm. The phone is getting bare warm because I'm playing so much games. I'm not sure if it's letting my phone breathe a lot in this little gap that it's in kind of thing down there. But, um, yeah, my phone seems to be doing okay, I guess. Um, and it's nice that you can just change the buttons for any game that you need to. I mean, most games will have it built in, but yeah, if you do need a game... If you play a game that's not you know compatible straight away you can literally just change the buttons as you want but yeah b top g1 look at all that chicken grease on it thanks for watching anyway guys leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe or like and um yeah if you have any other questions about the device itself um let me know and i'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible um it may be better for you to get back to me on twitter actually because then i'll answer even quicker because the youtube comments they're just mad at the moment. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Jay Jamal out.